Yo. What are the wall? What are these walls? <laughs> Not accumulation blocks, but walls of dental tartar and dental calculus. That is huge. What's up, everyone? My name is Dr. Mo, and I'm a dentist. Let's watch uh, the clean and removal of these huge chunks of dental uh, tartar and dental calculus. Not only this, but watch till the end because we're gonna watch how they remove um, these massive portions, as well as how to prevent this, how to prevent this from being you in the future because it can be you. Trust me. <clears throat> So the operator here is uh, starting uh, in the molar region, I guess, and they're starting to clean from the inside. And uh, we try to go as far back as uh, possible when we begin with the teeth, meaning the last molar or whatever the last tooth it is there. Uh, they're showing here that particular uh, molar and the operator. Oh, look at how the gums are also reddish, bleeding, and inflamed underneath look at that huge piece of uh, dental tartar and dental calculus oh of course normally there's a suction but that piece is too huge and hence there was a tweezer it's called a tweezer to help remove that gigantic piece of uh, dental tartar and as you can see these are actually stains these are stains that are also uh, removed what they are using here is uh, called an ultrasonic uh, a scalar and removing all of this uh, uh, dental tartar and dental calcis. The operator here is uh, proceeding <laughs> to the uh, premolar region. Looks really interesting, and they're removing all of these uh, stains uh, from the from the premolars. Uh, so we have the first, second premolar, and then the premolars and then the molars uh, region. So basically this would be the first premolar, then second premolar, and then the molars would start. We have also the front teeth, the anterior teeth, and the canine. Um, dental catalyst and dental plaque uh, is very common in the lingual surface of these lower front teeth. Of course, here we're handling uh, the teeth on the lower jaw. Uh, because we can see the floor of the mouth toward the lingual, the lips toward the buccal. Um, as you can see, the operator is breaking down these huge chunks of uh, dental calculus using the ultrasonic uh, it's, it's scalar, and they're doing it effectively. As you can see, the teeth appear to be clean to a certain degree underneath all of these walls of uh, dental tartar and dental uh, calculus. It's very unfortunate that on some teeth uh, we have really extensive uh, accumulation of uh, dental tartar because as you can see the gums are really inflamed underneath this and the technique here the operator appears to be uh, using is that they're trying to break uh, uh, that huge dental calculus and dental tartar into a slightly smaller pieces. The gums are reddish and inflamed underneath, and if you can see, uh, the dental tartar is not only accumulating on the lingual, meaning the inside towards the tongue surface, uh, and the facial or uh, labial, if it's on the front teeth, we call it labial because toward the lip, if it's uh, addressing the molars, for example, and it's toward the outside, we say buccal. Uh, but it's also the uh, dental tartar and dental calculus is accumulating in between the teeth. And the way to uh, lower the risk of uh, this from happening, try to prevent this, is by using something like a dental floss or uh, something like a water floss. All of these things are, of course, helpful in the prevention of uh, such consequences of honestly very poor oral hygiene. And if you can look at their slight difference between the color of this a uh, crown, which that's because the root starts here, and hence we we also have 
a gum uh, recession. Of course, this would be more evident if I was looking at, at it in the clinic, but as you can see, the gums are inflamed. They're really friable. They are uh, uh, bleeding underneath uh, that uh, uh, these huge chunks of dental clutter and dental uh, calculus, of course, uh, after removing all of that dental tartar and a uh, dental uh, calculus, uh, the gums will need uh, time to uh, heal. It's, it doesn't happen like this real quick. Of course, this is uh, this accumulation occurred over a somewhat of a prolonged period uh, of time of really poor oral hygiene uh, and not brushing properly, or maybe even not brushing at all, um, not using a dental floss or water floss. Uh, I will put some useful uh, links, I guess, in the description uh, box that you can check out. Also, I'll put a, a playlist if you enjoy or like uh, such videos, you can check them out as well. The operator here uh, proceeds to the uh, other side and look at these huge chunks. Very difficult. Look, look at so the assistant here tried to move uh, this piece and to a certain degree somewhat suction it, but it wasn't feasible. So they used a tweezer uh, to take off that uh, huge or big piece of uh, dental uh, tartar. The operator here proceeds from the lower uh, front or lower anterior teeth into uh, the uh, lower uh, posterior teeth of the uh, other side. And uh, the focus here is on the lingual surface. I like this because they're going in somewhat of a systematic approach. Uh, they address the lower front teeth lingual portion. Look at the gum recession here that is happening. And mind you, something that's really important is that uh, when gum recession occurs and we have these areas of the exposed root, these areas are more sensitive in general uh, compared with the crown uh, of uh, the tooth. The, the root surface is covered by cementum. That's what the layer uh, is called. And the uh, crown, typically its most external layer of the crown is called the enamel, if you ever heard about the enamel. The operator here proceeds also to the occlusal or the biting rather a surface of uh, these premolars. And as you can see, the process is, is gradual. So uh, we need to address sometimes there are small down calculus pieces. Uh, sometimes there are certain small stains. Really often the operators trying their best to remove all of these things. And of course, if they're using the dental loops, uh, which are these magnification uh, uh, things that dentists use, if you saw them before, it really helps to better visualize. Oh, look at all of that dental calculus and uh, dental plaque uh, that's accumulating, especially at uh, the uh, uh, front. Uh, so this is the view uh, of uh, the, the lower uh, front teeth and look at all of that, even scoloration and stains, it's not only dental calculus and dental uh, plaque and like tartar, it's uh, basically, there's also a lot of stains, so look at the, at the difference after the operator uh, is gradually removing these stains. Uh, now, of course, it will enhance the aesthetics of, of the tooth, but if the uh, person wanted further enhancement of aesthetics, then there is a, uh, multiple uh, options uh, for uh, to improve the cosmetics and the aesthetics of uh, that lower uh, front teeth region. Like what? I'll tell you some examples. So some examples are teeth whitening, if feasible, other examples are veneers, uh, of course, uh, in certain cases uh, where uh, it is necessary or some teeth had some root canal uh, treatment done for them uh, before, then sometimes we may also uh, go for crown on certain teeth to help uh, protect them. Uh, from a fracture because oh look at that wall of that you know, uh, uh, calculus and look at how much the gums are actually inflamed 
uh, as the operator is uh, removing all of that dental uh, tartar and dental plaque. Not only this, but there is also a gum recession on some teeth. As I said, you can see the crown portion and then some part of the root is exposed. This is really bad because that root portion is uh, sensitive. But if the dental tartar and dental plaque stays on the tooth, then there's a good likelihood that the gum recession and gum disease just going to progress uh, and get worse as it is. You can see all of these thick portions of uh, dental uh, tartar and dental plaque on uh, these teeth and there's also stains that are uh, being uh, removed by the uh, operator uh, here. Uh, it's a very important. Also, I think these uh, stains can be addressed. Yes, the operator is removing them uh, uh, on these uh, surfaces of uh, the teeth. As you can see, that uh, ultrasonic scaler looks like what they're using has a lot of water coming coming out of it. Uh, and this has uh, more than uh, uh, one uh, reason. So it is helpful to avoid overheating of the tooth because that ultrasonic scalar tip, actually you can't really see it that much, but it is to a certain degree vibrating as well. Um, oh, oh, oh my God. Now they're going to start with the upper teeth. And as I said, we try to start uh, in the uh, last uh, tooth that we have uh, access to uh, in the operator here uh, is trying to remove all of that dental plaster and dental cancus. Look at how it's covering up almost uh, the complete, uh, this like buckle surface that we talked about before. And here appears to be also some gum recession as well as on, on some other teeth. And what's happening, there's a whole lot of uh, dental plaster and dental cancus accumulated on this region. This really, this is a really bad uh, situation, unfortunately, for this person. Also, also, if uh, uh, they are a, a smoker or anything like this, this just further complicates and make the, makes the situation worse for them because smoking is also really bad for the gums uh, as well. And it is bad for staining, which is what a lot of people don't know. Uh, oh. Look at that huge piece of dental tartar I removed and the gums are inflamed uh, under, underneath it. Um, looks like a really bad uh, situation as well as the operator here is trying to remove uh, the stains that are, are remaining on these uh, uh, premolars and molars in the back. And of course, they're going to proceed into the uh, uh, canine and the teeth that are in the front. So far, so good. The uh, operator is trying their best to uh, remove really any remnant um, their plaque. Their oh, look at that. How that whole thing just pops off from the teeth and remaining dental cells and tartar. Okay, what about someone removes that, that piece? I guess someone will remove it with a tweezer. Um, really interesting. It's still there. Somebody remove this. Hello. Somebody can take it off with the tweezer real quick. I guess they don't want to interrupt uh, the operator uh, right there as they're getting into it. Uh, and now we're getting into the front teeth. This appears to be like a central incisor. We have lateral and this one to be a canine. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, and as you, can, as you can see, some of that dental tartar is uh, still no one removed that. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, some of that dental tartar and dental plaque is even uh, stained very dark, which is really horrible for uh, aesthetics. Even as it is being removed, you can see massive uh, uh, change and difference between uh, the before and after. In the end of the video, also, I'll sh uh, there's a before and after. Uh, you can clearly see the difference, uh, but it's just fun to watch the process and look at all oh, what a mess of all of that dental, dental tartar, dental calculus uh, thrown around everywhere. There's just huge amounts, and the operator here is just getting into it, uh, removing all uh, as much uh, 
the uncarefulness and the dental starter as they could. And it's really sad to see both that dental starter and dental calculus accumulate on the front teeth as well, because these are the first thing that some people may see when you talk, when you smile, is there the upper and lower front teeth as well as the premolars. Um, oh, some of these dental starter pieces are moving as they get picked up. Uh, by the operator here, uh, and this this tool, like the ultrasonic scaler, is really effective at removing such things. There, ah, oh, this is the other side. This is the other side. So, as you can see on the other side as well, we have the. <laughs> Excuse me, the operator is trying to um, pick some some of that doctor and dental calculus. Uh, that is accumulated in uh, huge uh, amounts and so far they're doing a great job but look at how extensive uh, some of this dental canvas in, in the dental tartar is on the teeth and I can see on the other side I don't know if it's visible but on the inside of the other side there's also a lot of stains um, there are many reasons as to why these things may have occurred, including, but let me tell you, I'm not saying for this particular person, but in general, um, coffee, smoking, a lot of things can cause uh, or uh, be directly related to uh, stains on uh, the teeth. Um, the operator here is trying to clean as much as feasible from all of that dental black and uh, dental uh, tartar so far, so good. Oh, okay. If you can see, sometimes we remove them, but there are some remaining pieces, and that is what the operator here is, is trying to do, to do really remove all of those uh, thick pieces. I'm going to forward this a bit. I'm going to forward this a bit more because I want to see them get into the front regions. Uh, oh, look at all of that. So we're getting a bit more toward the anterior when we say anterior in in dentistry we're talking about like moving uh forward to uh, to the oh, look at all these pieces look at how much the gums are inflamed again underneath all of that dental torture and dental calculus really is quite crazy what is happening so as i said using a water floss brushing effectively uh, at least uh, brushing twice a day um, it really helps in mitigating the risk and reducing the risk for such things and look at how the gums are really tired of all of this uh, dental filter and dental plaque and just gets a relief uh, once uh, these gigantic pieces are being removed oh look at all of that for the front teeth and front region even those small stains they can be addressed uh, with the uh, scalar um look okay so this is the before oh my god just like click streams just like huge walls of dental calculus and look at that end result uh looks really amazing that's all for today thank you everyone for watching there's more density don't forget to like subscribe turn notification bell on